Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to this tutorial on uh, Superior Drama where I'm going to show you uh, how to export your preset sounds as well as your custom sounds from Superior Drama to your door. It is nice to get this uh, already processed Superior Drama uh, preset sounds rather than the raw sounds for our mixing. Let's see how we do it. Here I have loaded Superior Drama 3 as a VST instrument on Cubase. As you can see here, uh, I have loaded Superior Drummer 3 uh, SDK uh, with the default drum kit. If you go to the mixer page, you will see that these uh, default sounds have not been processed. Now you know that Superior Drummer gives us uh, lots of plugins that we can use to process the drum sounds. If you go to a preset mixer, you will see these plugins in use. Let's have a listen to this default kit. Here I have loaded a MIDI segment and uh, if you go to the mixer you can see all channels uh, working and in Cubase there's one channel for the superior drama output. Now let's go ahead and uh, load a superior drama uh, preset. Let's select one from Rumi uh, so that we can hear the uh, preset effects distinctively. These are huge sound banks, so it will take some time to load. Uh, I'll come back once it is loaded. As you can see now, the preset is fully loaded. Uh, let's have a listen to it. Immediately you can hear the big roomy sounds with a lot of reverb in there. And if we uh, go onto the mixer, you will see how much processing has been taken place in the audio channels, as well as the, on the buses they have been routed into. There are some effects loaded onto the output channel. I'm going to disable them for this tutorial. Note that all the channels are still coming through a single channel on Cubase. We want our uh, drums to be sent to our door as multi tracks. To do that, click on this triangle and on the drop down menu, select Activate Outputs. And you can see currently only the first stereo channel is enabled. Now select Activate All Outputs. Now on Cubase, you will see that individual channel has been added to each output automatically. Now if you play this, uh, you will see that uh, sounds are still coming through channel 1 and 2 only. That is because we are yet to uh, route our channels to the other outputs we have just created. Let's start routing, but this is where the trick is. Let's route our audio channels and let's get the kicks, all the kicks into ki uh, channel 1 and 2 and snares into 3 and 4. I'm going to solo the tracks. Now when you play them, you can see that uh, they have been routed to multi-tracks but you only hear the raw sounds of that uh, kick and the snare only with the effects loaded onto the uh, audio channels. We are lacking all this processing uh, happening on the uh, buses that they have been initially routed to. Now I'll show you how to get the preset sounds including all this processing. Let's put them all back uh, as they were before. So what you'd want to do is, uh, instead of routing the audio channels, we route the buses into our outputs, as we did uh, with the audio channels. There you go. Now you can hear the all nice sounds coming from the presets into our DAW uh, in individual tracks, which can be processed further if required with our own plugins. We can name them, as you can see here. Now go back to DAW and to the VST plugins and make sure the outputs are active there and if you click on the automator you will see all the channels here let's get rid of the outputs that have not been used to avoid cluster if you like to mix with audio i'll show you how to convert these to audio tracks in cubase go to studio audio connections and in there you will have to create a number of audio uh, outputs according to the number of tracks that you have uh, to convert to audio. I have already created six stereo outputs. Please note here that they don't have to be connected to an audio device. Once you do that, uh, go to the mixture and start routing them one by one to each track. Once it is done, when you play the drums, you will only hear the kick, which is the only output connected to the audio device, stereo 1 and 2. So don't worry about it. Next time I am going to get the MIDI segment from the studio drummer and drag and drop it 
onto the Studio Drama VST instrument track. Now select the MIDI event and go to Edit, Render in Place, Render Settings. In there make sure that complete signal path is selected so the signal can go through our stereo output before it reaches the main output. Click Render and let Cubase do the magic. Now uh, you will have 7 audio tracks playing fantastic Studio Drama preset sound. Let's name the audio tracks. Then you can go to the mixer and hide the MIDI tracks, leaving only the audio tracks for you to process with your effects plugins. Well, I hope you like this video and it is helpful for you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and share your comments and suggestions. Thank you very much.